This is Ashley. Um, my gastro bypass journey is my channel. I just wanted to come in and give you one week post off of surgery. Yay! So as you know, I had my surgery on June the 3rd of 2015. Today is um, the 10th, 2015. Um, it's in the evening. So let's jump right into it. We're going to talk about right now vitamins, food, weight, and how I'm feeling. So, we're going to talk about how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling happy. There is no sadness in me. I did notice after I had the surgery, I did do what a lot of people said. I watched their videos saying, like, what the heck did I do? But after a while, I really just got over it. I've been having a great support team. My mom and my husband's been taking very good care of me um, and watching the kids and cooking my meals. So I've been very, very blessed to have them. All right, next topic we're gonna to talk about. We are gonna talk about intake of protein and water and everything. I'm doing great on the water front. Um, liquids, I'm getting in all my liquids and really get it in. The only thing I really need to get in more, it's more calcium and I'm not getting in my milk. So I'm going to work on that. Um, food, when it comes to the liquid diet, it's kind of hard for me to eat. It's because I feel full all the time and I really never felt that before. So that's a good thing for me. Um, I'm really happy and proud of that. Like, wow, three bites and I'm done. <laughs> it's like, what is, who is this person? But um, my nutritionist says that I need to try like a bite every minute when I'm eating food. And take my time and we'll go from there I have no problem swallowing I can drink through a straw and a lot of people can't but I can um, on that front everything is fine um, there's no foods that I have tried yet that I cannot eat so I don't know but I won't know that stage until I get to the second stage and that's my soft soft food so um, I just want to let y'all know we're probably going to upload a video tomorrow of my grocery haul that I did with my mother. Uh, we went grocery shopping today. So we got still my stuff for the liquid diet for this weekend and everything coming up. And also um, we did get stuff starting for the month for the, the mechanical soft food. So you know, we're really um, proud of that. Uh, we left out with four shopping carts. Can you believe that? Four. Huh, a lot of shopping carts. Um okay that's the end of that topic let's talk about oh sorry i want to talk about one more thing before i want to talk about what medicine i'm on i take the pain medicine that they give me i'm also on prilosec for the antacid um in our bodies and i also take a prenatal vitamin that's what i use for multivitamin and i want to let the ladies know and it has everything in it and i'm i feel great i feel fine I just want to let the ladies know, I want to let you know one thing. You know we lose hair after the surgery. Um, it's common. Uh, prenatal vitamins help you grow your hair back and makes your nails long. So it's a little tip. So maybe think about looking and finding a good prenatal vitamin for right now until you can go get better ones. Um, let's see what else I want to talk about. I want to talk about stats of weight. Well, as you can know, before I started my journey, I weighed in at 290 pounds. From there, I had got, I dropped down to 258, then 250, uh, sorry, I messed up, 268, 255, then had to get down for a surgery weight was 257, then the day of surgery, I weighed in at 254, and I just weighed myself yesterday, so I weighed at 251. Um, that is my weight from right now. Um, I think it's a total weight power loss of 40 pounds, but this was um, not 290 was before I decided to go have gastro bypass surgery. Um, is there anything else? Oh yes, yeah, so I wanted to mention this one thing. I don't know if y'all are noticing this. It's just me. Um, it's two things. The first thing is when I was in the hospital, the anesthesia for me. Um, kind of made me have a, a allergic reaction to it. I was itching very badly and they had to give me Benadryl. But this is not the first time it happened to me. Um, 
it happened before when I had my breast reduction done and it also happened when I had my c-section done for my first child so it was it was kind of really hard um, to deal with um, so I had to itch all the time Whew, it's horrible um, and the second thing I wanted to talk about and I want to know if y'all can leave some questions or comments I've been scatterbrained for the past two days like could not get my thoughts together you know um, trying to remember what I was gonna say because I didn't make this video about four or five times already just to get it right um, I wonder if y'all are going through this right now so or if it's common from the surgery um, if you can leave a question at the bottom of my screen and act and tell me if y'all been going through this and I'll answer your back but I will give you that um, grocery haul pretty soon it will be updated hopefully I'll have it done by tomorrow I can update it tomorrow but I just wanted to say hey this is your girl Ashley my gastric bypass journey and I want to say hey woo woo I got through my one week post off um, from surgery so just wanted to make this video I hope it helped you and I hope you all have a blessed night bye